Since Chromebooks are Google-based, the Google Education Suite is available for many uses. Washington County Public Schools have made PD modules for all the Google applications and can be found by going to wcpsmd.com. Once there, you can click on the Employee Portal, then you can click on Professional Learning, and then you can click on Teachers. At this time, you would be able to see Professional Learning videos. If you click on that, you'll see a big G for Google. You'll click on that. All Google applications will be listed under Google Videos. They're compatible with Chromebooks and have extra layers that can be added to the applications if using a Chromebook. For many applications for Google, you can use add-ons. In order you to use an add-on, you'll need to be in one of the applications. I'm in Google Slides right here. You'll click on Add-ons, and you'll be able to click on Get Add-ons. You will be able to go through a list and read descriptions to see which application add-ons may best serve you. Also, if you go to the Chromebook icon in the portal, this is located in Employee Portal, Professional Learning, Teachers, and if you go to the very bottom, there will be a Chromebook icon. You will see useful resources under the Chromebook resources. In this folder, you'll be able to see a Google add-on sheet. If you click on that, if you click on that, you'll be able to see several add-ons that have been overviewed by teachers in the county. All of the applications that were discussed on these video series can be seen on this choice board. Another thing to bring up is the SAMR model. Remember that with the SAMR model, any of the applications that you use can be used multiple ways and that you can be in different areas in this SAMR model. You do not have to worry about always modifying and redefining. Also, you may want to use this tool to help you choose to see whether or not your EdTech tool is pedagogically valid. This choice board and other applications will be added depending upon what is available.